Hello, and welcome back to the desktop where all the magic happens. I'm here with you lovely llamas, and today we're going to be playing Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. This is the version with the, um, with the DLC, but I'm not sure if we'll play through that. I'm not sure how long it'll take for us to play through the game. I have played this numerous times, so I don't expect it to take, or I don't expect it to be uh, very painstaking to actually play through. But uh, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna name ourselves a uh, thing. I'm not sure what we're gonna name ourselves. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think. We're gonna call ourselves Plump. Plump? No. No, I'm not feeling that. Let's think of a good character's name. We'll just call ourselves. Sad Llama. We gotta put a space in there? Can we put a space in there? We can. Sad Llama. Alright. Sad Llama. Except. So can I use the controller again, please? Uh, enter. There we go. Sex. We're gonna be a dude. Or class is gonna be. Pyromancer. Our gift. Hmm. Goddess's blessing. No, no. Binoculars, maybe. I'm gonna go with the master key. I'm gonna go with the master key, but I'm not sure if I want the pendant. Uh, but fond memories comfort to travelers. It's, it's kind of funny because when the game first came out, everybody thought the pendant had like a super secret meaning and so many people explored every edge of this game and there's actually literally no reason to actually have the pendant. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't increase your health or unlock a certain area. It's ab it's absolutely hilarious. For the sake of this playthrough, we're going to make sure that we're taking the master key because I know that's very uh, relatively important later. Uh, we're just going to go with a plain face. Our hair Shaved, receding, short, swept back, ponytail wild, parted center. It's baby face with hair. <laughs> Curly, bobbed. We're gonna go with the wild one. Color. Uh, silver, I guess. I guess we can accept that, right? Delta farmer. Whoa, that. That changes a lot. <laughs> Eerie Great Swamp, Far East Traveler. We're just gonna go with a commoner. We are common pyromancer. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch the cutscene because the cutscene's awesome. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of gray crags, arch trees. And everlasting Man, dragons. this brings back so many good memories. Ah, I remember when I first played this game. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Came disparity. Oh man. He this is going to be a good playthrough. I'm pretty excited for this. Life and, and death. death. And of, of course, course light. light. And dark. <laughs> My plan for the series is to just do one boss then an episode. From the dark, they came. From the dark, they came. And from from the, the dark, they came. Of lords within the flame. Lord, souls of lords, yo. Look at that nastiness. Of the dead. Mm -hmm. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. So many and knights. The furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Now, as a lot of the legend goes, or the lore behind this this game, the Furtive Pygmy 
got the Dark Soul. Great firestorms. Gather around the campfire and sing the campfire song. Death and disease. It's crazy, dude. And see the scales betrayed as him, and the dragons were able. You know, I could never find his eyes in that cutscene. I'm never able to like see where his eyes are. And I don't think he has eyes, but I could be wrong. Thus began the age of fire. Yeah, man. The age of fire. But Look at that place. The flames were Fancy made, place, huh? And only dark will remain. Only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. A man sees not light, but only endless nights. As much as I love Dark Souls 3, and amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. I still think that this game, Dark Souls, the first one, has the best uh, character design in terms of like story and background and the way they look uh, for for the four main bosses. Uh, the Witch of Isleth, Nito of the Dead, First of the Dead, then there's Gwyn, and then there's, what what's his face? Seath. Seath yes, are the, indeed. those are the four main bosses. The Dark Sign Brands the, the Undead. undead. Yeah, man. Yeah, Brands the Undead. We, we got that tattoo, and so what? Land, the Undead are corralled and led to the Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. No way, dude. See, this is what happened when uh, we got our ticket to Disneyland. Uh, we kind of kind of broke everything. <laughs> and who is that? None but Oscar of Astora. Not the dead body. That guy. The ninth guy. Oscar of Astora. In Dark Souls 3, there's a character named Henri of Astora. And uh, it's pretty cool the way he the, the final game kind of merged a bunch of the different areas and such. I thought it was nice. Alright. So we don't have our weapon yet. Right? No, I don't want to use my gestures. I want to check my stuff. Yeah, the, we don't have our yeah, RB to attack and all that other nonsense. There's, there's another boss, but that's not the boss we're going to face right now. Rather dark. So yeah. So uh, this is gonna be more like a casual guide, I guess, to get through the game relatively quickly. Cause I do know how to play the game, I swear. I swear by the old gods and the new. So we rest at the bonfire, and then we're gonna open this shit up, and we're gonna go through the tutorial level. The cool thing is, we could attempt this boss right now, but I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna play the game how it was meant to be played. Well, technically how it was meant to be made is actually um, facing the boss, so, so never mind me.
cracked round shield. Gonna go equip that, I guess. Yep, yep, you better run. Gonna equip our hand axe. Baxter Boo You dead, yo. You're dead. Dead as a doornail. And where are we now? Where are you now? It's going to be a boulder. Oh, oh, I thought I could dodge it. Oh, well. All right. And here is Oscar of Astora. Let's t let him you, talk. You're no hollow. Frank, I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'm done for. Oscar, and then lose, lose my, my sanity. sanity. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yeah, G. I got you. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Yeah. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. Yeah, sure. With the bell of awakening. The faith. How is that a family saying? No. It just doesn't sound like... I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, an Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. No, I, would, I would hate to harm you after, and thank you. You're welcome. We're just gonna let him be. Uh, but there is an option to kill him. See? There it was. I'm actually gonna unequip the shield, and I'm just gonna two-hand the, uh, the hand axe for now. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. How could I have forgotten? Such a such a silly mistake on my part. I excuse me for this. Have to open this door. Cause our first bonfire is right there. Ha cha cha cha. In this game, warping between bonfires does not exist for the most part. So if we miss something, we have to go all the way back. Until we get the Lord Vessel. And that's gonna suck. But we can level up at each bonfire. So it's and there's a there's a trade-off to some extent. No. No. Aw, oh, dang. He got me. We're gonna heal up once. We're gonna take on this guy in here. I remember my first time I played this game, I was so scared of this guy, I thought he was going to wreck me. But anyway... Boss fight! Yoo-hoo! Plunge attack. More than half the boss's health. Or about half of the boss's health. Well, I'm not doing a great job right now. It is a little laggy, so, I mean... Ha cha cha cha. It's one. And two. And three. And four. There we go. You haven't died yet. Oh yeah, big pilgrim's key. We will be back here later, although it's not necessary to be back here. But uh, we get some rubbish at some point in the game, and uh, I want to use that because you can get a titanite chunk from, there's like a, a little bird somewhere over here. It's like right there. You see that little nest? You can like trade items with the little bird here, and that's kind of cool. But you have to find things it wants, and if you give it rubbish in this game, he'll give you a titanite chunk, and that's always nice. Cutscene! <gasps> In the ancient legends, it is it stated? One 
Be food for my babies. <laughs> nah. The undead asylum, asylum in, in pilgrimage. In pilgrimage to the land of, of the ancient, ancient lords. Lord John. Lord. Look at my phone. Needs to charge. Lord John. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> <coughs> Look at these visuals. For for the game, when this came out, this was absolutely beautiful. This is stunning and breathtaking. For me, it still is. And here we are. Firelink Shrine. This is the original Firelink Shrine. None of that poser stuff going on. In Lordran, level up at kin then, then kindle at bonfires. Can we level up? We can. We can, we can. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go with endurance first, and then uh, one into vitality, and we're gonna accept that. Confirm reinforcement. I'm gonna put the pyromancy hand in the other hand because um, we don't need well, it. What do we have here? You must, must be a new arrival. arrival. Let me I love this game. But there's no celebration here. Look at our nasty face. We look like beef jerky. Look at this. His head he looks at me. Like if I walk over here, he's still looking at me. Walk over here, he's looking at me. There's actually two bells of awakening. The other is No worry! That's amazing! Yeah, it is. Of course. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna go to equipment. We're gonna unequip that, because we don't want to have those on us. Because we don't want to accidentally use them. That's the whole reason they're in the other hand. Or out of the toolbar, at least. And then we've got a few other things going on. There's uh, some fire bombs over here. And we're so that was the first boss. And uh, we'll cut the episode off there. Uh, next time, though, we're going to be taking on the Undead Berg. And with it, we take on the Taurus Demon. Um... That's all that's real. Oh, wait, forgot. Gotta talk to a few other people here, because there's more going on than just one person or one thing. And that is this. Hello there. This is Petrus of Thoraland. I am Petrus of Thoraland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. He offers the first covenant in the game, or the first covenant you could encounter I at this point in the game. But I also, yeah, no. Thanks, bro. Alright, we're gonna just leave him alone, mainly because I don't like him. Um, in this game, Pyromancy does not have any stat requirements other than, like, you gotta have some attunement slots and stuff. So it's very interesting. And then the last thing we're gonna be doing for, for this episode, we're gonna run through here and get ourselves killed, probably. But, we are going to pick up my favorite weapon, the Zweihander. And that's the sole reason we're actually going through this area. And I believe it's right here. Nope, that's the winged spear. I'm fucked. Is this it? Is this it? Tell me this is it. There it is. Perfect. Run away! Run up! Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, good old-fashioned Dark Souls. I miss it. But we did pick up the Zweihander, and I just want to be able to use that when we do have the stats for it. And so, once we respawn, I'll show you the stats. Necessary for it, at least. And uh, if we toggle status, 
Um, we'll go here and then toggle display. We need 24 strength and 10 dexterity, neither of which we have yet. Um, so what we're going to be doing is first leveling up our vitality and stuff, and then we're going to be uh, changing our attack stats, because vitality, endurance, strength, dex, that's what we're going to go for. Um, that's really all that we've got going on for this episode. Uh, the winged spear we might use before, before the, uh, before the Zweihander, sorry, my nose is really stuffy today, because it's got much less stat requirements, but we're going to be tr switching out weapons and all this nonsense. We don't even have the strength for it yet, but that's for another day. Next time, the Taurus Demon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you are entertained by this video and you're interested in the world of Dark Souls, leave a like for this video. It lets me know I, I met my goal in entertaining you and sparking your interest in something. On the other hand, leave a comment down in the comment section down below if for possibly build suggestions or anything like that. Um, this is started in place of the Wolf Among Us series because we had finished that the other day and after we finished Shovel Knight, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We got one more episode of it and then I'll figure out something else to uh, play. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. If I already said if you like the video, do whatever. Um, I want you to remember that our character Sad Llama loves you. Loves you so much. Loves, loves you, you know? And uh, it's not this llama. Thank you guys for watching again. Bye bye